Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This session I shall be explaining you the readers writers problem that is a solution to readers writers problem using the semaphores. So before you start learning the solution, uh, I request my audience to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And before I explain the pseudocode written for the readers writers, uh, this one, uh, the readers writers processes, I shall be first explaining you what exactly is the problem. here. This, prob this particular readers writer will model to access a database. So, we are saying that there is some database here, okay, data which is getting accessed by different processes. A process which reads the data, which is just trying to read the contents of this database becomes a reader, okay. And a process which wants to write into the database becomes a writer. So, these are the two processes. One is reader process which will only read. The other one is the writer process which can write into the database. Now, our job is to see here that if there is a reader process, can you allow the writer process also at the same time? Definitely not because the writer is going to modify the contents of the database. The reader is accessing or reading just the database. Once the contents are getting at the same time updated, the reader may not be able to get the correct values, the correct data what it wants from the database. So, you are not supposed to allow a writer process to enter into the this one. So, we call this now the database as the critical section. You cannot allow the writer to enter into the critical section when already there is a reader here. Can you allow one more reader? Second reader? Yes, you can allow because this reader is not going to update anything. It is also reading what the contents of the database same like the previous reader. Can you allow another reader? Yes. <coughs> Sorry. The third reader. Can you allow the fourth reader? Yes, allow. That means the conclusion is you can allow any number of readers here. So, you will allow as many readers as you want to access the database. But when it comes to writer, only can you allow more than one writer? Already one writer is there which is trying to what write into the database. Can you allow one more writer? You cannot allow here. One once a writer comes into picture, that means the writer is going to what write into the database. At the same time, another writer should not write anything into the database. So, this care has to be taken here. In this problem, you cannot allow more than one writer. Only one writer should be allowed to access the database. Whereas, readers, any number of readers can be allowed to access the database. And also, whenever there is a reader, another writer should not be allowed. That already I told you. This another reader should not be allowed into the database. So, this is the actual problem. We have to ensure that whenever a reader is there, you can allow another reader also to enter into critical section. Whenever there is a writer, you should not allow what? You should not allow any other writer or reader to enter into the critical section. So, these things we have to look into this problem and the code is written over here. What you can do is the entire code, this part is the, in, okay, the declaration part, then the writer code is here. Okay, and the reader code is reader code is written over here. Now let us see line by line the pseudocode for these processes. So here we have the reader process and the writer process. We are making use of what the mutex semaphore, which is going to provide what mutual exclusion that is exclusively access to the critical section, exclusively access to the database. For that reason, we require the mutex. We have a uh, where semaphore called as DB here which is initialized to 1, okay. So, this semaphore will, will also what have, will get only two values, 1 and 0. That means it is like a binary semaphore. This is binary, this is binary. Here we have taken a normal variable RC. RC stands here for read count. What we are doing is whatever number of readers they want to access, as I said just now, uh, reader, second reader will come, third reader. To keep count of the readers, we are using the variable RC. RC stands for read count, readers count. It is what? Readers count. So, you want to keep track of the readers count also. So, that way we will start seeing the code here. These are the different variables. The code for the writer seems to be very simple. In a, I mean to say the number of instructions are very less. Very. The reason is because when the writer is there in the critical section, it should not allow any other writer also. It should not allow any other reader also. So, it is simply like if this is the critical section or if this is the database because for the database only we want to have mutual uh, exclusively access. Now, this code will start executing the writer's code while true think up data is a non-critical section part. So, do not worry non-critical. 
first it will perform the down operation on db db value is what first i am going to explain about the writer's code okay so i am writing here writer db value is initially equal to 1 okay it will perform the down operation on db down operation on db will make equal to 0 then write into the database that means the writer can start writing whatever it wants into the database then after it performs that after it uh, writes into the database it will perform what the up operation on the database up operation is what d very simple what it has done is it is not allowing any other process itself it will lock it will get inside and it will because look here when it is performing the down operation initially the db value equal to 1 no and then the writer wants to enter into the critical section it will perform the down operation on db so it will make the value 0 once it is there inside any other process whether it is a writer or reader they have to perform what the down operation on db when they try to perform the down operation on db the value is 0 0 less than or equal to 0 the condition becomes true that means the those process will never be allowed will never enter into critical section it will be inside the loop only in this way the writer process has taken very well the care not to make any other process when it is inside the critical section that is the reason you just see so beautifully this code is just three lines perform the down you are locking that this one entering the into the writing into the database then you are releasing you are locking you are what locking the database you are writing into the database you are releasing the lock that time no other process whether it is a reader or writer no one can enter into the critical section so this was where this is uh, really helping and it will make sure that only writer is inside the critical section but the readers part i will write here okay the readers part and here you just first note down what are the initial values mutex mutex is 1 initially db is equal to 1 and rc is equal to 0 these are the initial values fine next thing is you start executing one by one the instructions that are there in the readers code now what in the beginning i told you that reader should not allow the writer process to enter into the critical region when it is reading the database so the reader has to take care of that but we know that there should there cannot be just one reader there can be any number of readers trying to read the database now let us see first what the reader code the first line it will perform the down operation on mutex once it performs the down operation on mutex the value becomes equal to 0 then it will increment the value for rc it will the rc value is 1 next thing is it is trying to check whether rc is equal to 1 yes rc is equal to 1 in this case now first then if this if condition is true the immediate instruction has to get executed what is that down operation on db so down operation on db then comes what the up operation on mutex then the reader can start reading the database so why the first the reader has done these many things is the normally the reader can enter into the database by performing what the down operation on mutex read the database and performing the up operation on mutex after coming out from the day this is what we expected but we made the first reader to do one extra thing what is that if rc is equal to equal to one we are trying to see here that is this the first reader yes if this is the first reader then you do this operation also you perform the down operation on db that's why db value becomes zero initial value is one now it becomes zero that is what the first reader has done so this is the extra responsibility given to the first reader that's why normally we'll never do this we are only making the rc count equal to one and immediately we are trying to check what whether rc is equal to equal to one why we have done is we want to check here whether this is the first reader if this is the first reader whatever extra responsibility is given to you 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 do that so what is that extra responsibility perform the down operation on due so this is what the reader will do then it will come out from the critical section now it is there in the uh, that means it is reading the database and after it reads the database it has to perform its exit part exit part is this much from here hope it is visible to you all okay exit part is here between down and up you can see these three lines are there first it has to perform the down and up. now what we will do is because we know that database can be read by more than one reader so what we will do is we will not make the first reader come out from this path let it be reading the database will allow other readers also to read the database that is why we will not uh, uh, perform these instructions now we will make one more reader enter here and the next reader if it wants to it will perform the down operation on mutex this line it will increment the rc by 1 now the value for rc becomes 2 
if rc is equal to 1 no rc is equal to 2 here if the condition is false then the control will come directly to this statement perform the up operation on mutex so if the condition is false this line will get skipped this down operation the control will come to the next up operation on mutex this is what the second reader has done we'll make one more reader also to enter into the critical section we'll say okay start this down operation on mutex zero increment the value for rc it will become 3 here if rc is equal to equal to 1 no rc is equal to 3 if rc is equal to 3 then you directly go to this line up operation on mutex okay up operation on mutex now what we have done is we have made three readers now whatever database is there three readers are there inside okay that means three readers are reading the database now we'll try to make all these readers to come out one by one let us do that so this exit part is here from this down to this upper so when it is coming out from the critical section what it will do is it will perform the down operation on mutex so it will be zero here okay I will just create some space here for mutex I will need. So it has performed the down operation on mutex. Then it will decrement the count of what RC. If RC is equal to equal to 0, no RC is equal to 2. If RC is equal to 2, if this condition, if, if condition no need to execute this, the control will directly go to this up instruction. It will perform the up instruction now so continue from here please so this will is continued from here it will perform the up operation on mutex the sec so now reader one has come out or reader two any reader has come out now next one more reader wants to come out what this reader will do it will perform the down operation on mutex okay so it has made the value from one to zero it will decrement the count for rc if rc is equal to zero no rc is equal to one so no need to do this directly go here up operation on mutex okay then so this reader has also come out there is one more reader inside this reader wants to come out it will perform the down operation on mutex the value becomes zero then immediately the decrement operation for rc will take place rc equal to rc minus one so rc value becomes zero now look here if rc is equal to equal to zero yes the condition is true here so at this point what we are checking is whenever we check rc equal to equal to 0 we are checking is this the last read reader yes this is the last reader then last reader is also having one extra responsibility what is that if this condition becomes true then you have to perform what the up operation on db so initially if you see the first reader has made 1 to 0 now the last reader will make from 0 to 1 up operation on db okay so this way the last reader is also having some extra responsibility it will perform the up operation on db then it will perform the up operation on mutex fine so this reader will also come out now the conclusion here is what the first reader has locked db value the semaphore so that writers will not be able to enter but it is allowing other readers the code allows other readers to enter into the critical section at the time of leaving whoever is the last reader should what unlock the db value that that is why you can see db semaphore is only here from 1 to 0 0 to 1 whereas the other semaphore values are getting changed here because you are allowing any number of readers there but here db is what only one uh, sorry db equal to initial value was one the first reader has made it zero this is done by the first reader okay and from zero to one okay from zero to one the last reader has done only this much is carried out for the db database because this is what is very important also though you feel that very less operations are being done on db but that is more powerful it is stopping the writers to enter into the database you have solved the readers writers problem using the semaphore this is a classical interprocess communication problem hope this session is useful to you all and if you like this session please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye take care